it's fast as lightning, it's frightening, and it makes all the voices. Right guys, at full time we got a more picture of the of us singing the natural game that was that poor. We had most of possession, we could get a shot on target, yeah, not good enough. It was shocking, I hope you enjoyed the video. Awesome guys, welcome back to another video. We're back with the match day vlog. As you can see by the title, it is Barnsley versus Lewin. We're back at home today, back at Oakwell, back at the Fortress. With our home record spelling back over 12 months, beating Fulham 1 0 this year and driving to our with Charlton, we're looking to keep that unbeaten record going when we host Luton Town today. It's not going to be an easy game whatsoever, but I reckon we need to win, but they also need to win, so it's going to be very tight, like I said. Both teams coming off the back of the loss, us losing 2-0 to Birmingham and them losing 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Them without picking up a win this season, it's a vital game for both teams and I can see this one being a very tight affair. This one could easily be 1-0, 2-0 or just a 1-0 to each team, but my gut instinct does say 2-1 to Barnsley, so let's hope I am correct with that. So now, before we get to Oakwell, I'm going to pass you on to a fellow Luton Town vlogger. He's recorded little clips, giving him his perspective to put on my on my channel, his score predictions. So yeah, here is a fellow Luton Town and what he thinks of the upcoming game. So, Barnsley versus Luton Town. Now, Luton urgently need a win. Barnsley are very good at home. They have been for like over 12 months now. So today's game... For, from a Luton perspective, doesn't get any easier considering like the start which we've had on paper. And Barnsley, you've got your first win. You've got you've got some points on the table, whereas you're not in a, that bad situation as what we're in. But today, it's going to be a close game. It's not going to be an easy one. I do reckon Barnsley will cause us problems today. And I do reckon it'd be a draw today. I am going to go with a two-all draw for today's game. Luton, we've, we're practically like Barnsley's like B team. You guys have got a few of like ex Luton players as well, so today's going to be a good game. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm going to go with a two-all draw for today's game. Two-nil, four minutes. Absolutely shot. Thirty minutes in, as you can see by the clips, we are already two-nil down. We have Luton having a bunch of other chances and ourselves not creating that much. First goal came in the second minute, as obviously I didn't get on camera. Second minute, uh, player run down the right hand side, beat Mads Anderson, played it across, ended up falling to one of their guys, unmarked, who put it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 after one minute. And then for the second one, down the same side, I, I missed it. 
crossed it in, keeper misses the punch, fumbles the punch, falls to their man who smashes it in the back of the net to make it 2-0 and just before the 30th minute, um, Luton attacking again, we clear one off the line as I think I got on camera, but yeah. <laughs> Right guys, as you can see, half time. It's currently half time. Um, after the after the half an hour in clip that I did show you, they went and scored a third goal, like you saw. Very similar to the first two. They get they get in behind our full backs. We we failed to clear it. It falls to their man who smashes it into the back of the net. Poor defending, and it's been a poor for poor performance in this first half after going three 0 down after thirty minutes. A very long way for the Reds to come back. I don't see us get anything out of this, and I think it's the three points only one. But let's hope we can at least show some pride, at least show some courage in this second half, and at least make these fans proud, as it's been very poor in this first forty. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Massive chance gone begging. We all thought we scored. Still three. We pull one back, 3 1 with 20 minutes to go. Unlikely we're going to pull it back, but it's a consolation. It. Ooh. Oh, corner ball, we're pushing for another. This is going in, this. by the keeper, corner ball. Oh. Another big chance. There we go guys, that is full time. As you see, we did end up scraping a goal back through Malik Wilkes. Um, Tiam down, down the left, I do believe, ended up cutting inside, squaring it to Wilkes, who ended up just scraping it into the back of the net, a tapping, fumbling it into the back of the net. So it didn't end 3-1 to Luton Town. Very poor performance overall. We showed a bit of courage and a bit of fight in that second half. Some very poor performances from individuals throughout that game. I'm not going to name or shame anyone because if you guys have been, you know. Credit to Luton, they deserve the win, 3-1 to them. And credit to their fans that came down, as you can see by the thumbnail they've got. Quite a lot, roughly just over a thousand, one thousand one hundred or two hundred, I do believe. So very good from their fans, as you saw. Three one to Luton, poor performance. Who was actually below us before this game? Next week it is against Wigan, who are below us in the last relegation spot, while we sit just outside the relegation spot. But next Saturday is a must win going into the international break. We need win all back, and we need that Patrick Smith to actually play a game. Some bad decisions from Stendhal, you could agree with, but yeah, that is the end of the vlog. A very poor performance, like I said. Thank you to Lewis being on the channel. Thank you to everyone watching. A poor performance in four goals in this game, and yeah, on to next week, which I won't be going to, but I'll be making a video on it. Hopefully we can turn it around, but we'll see. If not, it's going to be a long season. Thank you for watching, guys.